السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هو الذي بعث بالأميين رسولا منهم يتلو عليه يتلو عليهم آياته ويزكيهم ويعلمهم الكتاب والحكمة وإن كانوا من قبله لفي ضلال مبين قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم إن من أحبكم إلي وأقربكم مني مجلسا يوم القيامة أحاسنكم خلقا خياركم, خيار خياركم خياركم لأهله أنا خيركم لأهلي أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام الحمد لله سبحانه وتعالى لأنه الله 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 سبحانه so my topic is Tazkiyah. What is Tazkiyah? And, and Tazkiyah is one of the cornerstone of deen, a cornerstone of, uh, uh, of our religion. And, uh, and, and this was one of the, uh, one of the main component of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Like I have recited the ayat where Tazkiyah is mentioned in the Quran, uh, many places in the Quran. It mentioned in Surah Baqarah and mentioned in surah, uh, a couple of times in Surah Al-Imran. And in uh, and and the ayah that I have recited in Surah Al Jum'ah, where where the main, uh, few component of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is, men- uh, is mentioned is tazkiyah, tazkiyah, purifi- purification. Pur- uh, he said that he uh, Allah subhanahu wa taala is the one who recites recites the uh, 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 Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He uh, he tilawat of Quran and and res- uh, and, and the. Uh, and the purification of the Sahaba that Rasulullah uh, performs. And I would, I would like to ask a question that if, uh, if I add, do we love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Do we love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Of course, all of us sitting here and would automatically would say, yes, we love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Right? If I were to ask, and if I were to ask you, do you want to be with Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam? And and you would say yes. I, I would I would love to be with Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay. And what what are the actions that would get me close to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It's the act, uh, What action would it get to uh, get, uh, get me close to? It's the salah that that, that would get him close to. Is, uh, is, is a performing of namaz that would get him close to? What, what action would, uh, w- uh, w- would, him, uh, w- would get you close to? Or is the zakat that uh, the person, person gives that would get me close to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Or my love for Rasulullah sallallahu would increase? And uh, is, 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 is it, uh, what is this action that, uh, that would, uh, 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 that is that is desired by Rasulullah sallallahu What action would ha- uh, would allow me to get close to Rasulullah sallallahu Rasulullah sallallahu He says, "Inna min ahabikum ilayya wa akrabikum min uh, uh, minni majlis and yom al qiyamati." The person, per, the, the person that would be with me on the day of uh, in the day of judgment, on the day uh, in the day of judgment, and the most beloved person that would be with me on the day of judgment. And 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 would be uh, and would be close to me. Wa akrabi wa minni. He would be close to me. Is the one who rectify, who has the best of excellence, best of character, best of akhlaq. Ahasinukum khulqa. He has the best uh, uh, amongst you. The best one uh, would be with me. Who has the best of character? Did not say about your namaz. Did not say about your zakat. Did not say uh, about your hajj. Did not say about uh, 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 about the other deeds, but only only uh, only thing that uh, Rasulullah sallallahu said that is most beloved to me. That person will be more beloved to me and close to me on the day of judgment is the one who rectifies his uh, uh, his inner realities, his his character. What is tazkiyah? Tazkiyah is the inner realities that we uh, uh, that is uh, that is spoken of, the inner uh, recognition. Of persons, uh, persons, uh, persons' desires that he and uh, and comprehension of uh, of the inner realities that that we do not understand. That's what tazkiyah is. Uh, uh, in, 
Umar bin Khattab radiallahu he narrates a hadith. He said, uh, we were sitting with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A man comes from nowhere. He, he, uh, uh, that he, he, uh, uh, he said, a man came to us with extreme white cloth, shining white cloth, and extreme d uh, dark hair. And, and, and he had no sign of travel. That, you know, a person travels, his clothes, they get, uh, they get dirty, they get brown, dust is on him. There's no sign of dust on his hair, nor on his clothes. Extreme white clothes, extreme dark hair. And, and he's not amongst us. We do not recognize this individual. And he comes and sits, near, uh, sits in front of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he starts asking questions with Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, uh, he said, Ya Rasulullah, Ya Muhammad, akhbirni al Islam, tell me about Islam. And Rasulullah Sallallahu said, Antashadu an Allah ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammad Rasulullah. And, and, and he said, is, is to believe uh, uh, there's none worthy of worship except Allah. Muhammad Sallallahu is the messenger. Perform your salah, give your zakat, and perform, uh, perform hajj if you, ha uh, if you have ability to. And then he's, he asked the next question. He said, uh, uh, Ya Muhammad, uh, uh, inform me about Iman. He said, what is Iman? He said, An tu'mina uh, tu billah wa, rasu, uh, wa, wa, wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rasulihi. And that you believe in Allah and his book and his uh, iman and mujmal. That you believe in his book and his angels and his prophets. And the day and hereafter and the good and bad comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you believe in. And the next question uh, that person asks, inform me about ihsan. What is ihsan? Perfection. What is, what is perfection? What is excellence? And Rasulullah said, he said, that, uh, he, said, he said to perform your salah, perform your, you, you do worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala such that you seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And ta'bud Allah that you see, uh, and that you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as if you're seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you cannot do this, but have the understanding that Allah is watching over you. That Allah is watching over you. Yeah, if I were to ask you, where is Allah? You will look around and be like, it's everywhere. But what's amazing, Allah SWT says that I'm closer to your uh, juggler vein. Right? Just think of an action that you were uh, uh, isolated. You were driving isolated. You felt alone. And you did not have the recognition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And but if you just at this moment just uh, just just meditate and just to think over yourself that I was alone at this moment and I did this certain action I was eating food or I was in, uh, uh, I was uh, I was doing my homework or I was doing work uh, work just imagine that Allah is closer to me than my juggler vein that Allah is closer to me than my juggler vein that is that is what tazkiyah is that's what the ihsan. That's what uh, ihsan is. Is to, is, is to worship Allah Subhanahu wa Taala such that you're seeing Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. It's the inner reality. Is to understand the inner reality of the person of uh, of our of our religion. And 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 he said, if you cannot if you cannot comprehend, if you cannot meditate that Allah is uh, Allah is watching me, uh, and meditate that uh, that Allah is uh, that Allah is watching me. If you cannot meditate. That, that, I'm, that, uh, that I'm seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and after this person asked few other questions and he left the majlis and after a few days Umar, uh, uh, Umar bin Khattab he said Rasulullah asked me do you know do you, do, you, do, you, do you remember that person that was asking me the questions do you know who he was he said Allah, uh, Allah wa Rasul wa Alam he said Allah Rasul knows best Ya Rasulullah and he said that was, that was Jibreel alayhi salam he came to teach you your deen he came to teach you your deen. That means that Tazkiyah is part of your deen. It's the cornerstone, cornerstone of your deen. If you leave out just Islam, Islam is what the five pillars. person accepts Islam, that is necessity. If he wants to become Muslim, he needs to first, uh, 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 he has to fulfill these four, uh, five pillars. And then after that is Iman, is to, he needs to have belief in, uh, in, in, in the unseen. And, uh, and the scene that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have created, the angels, the books, and the next thing that comes that gives willpower to the, to the, to the individual is tazkiyah, which is ihsan. That for this reason, it is important upon us, our responsibility to fulfill this aspect of, uh, of tazkiyah, where, where we're in a time where it's uh, uh, constantly spoken of, of Quran and Sunnah, Quran and Sunnah, and that's what is promoted. 
and that's what person is going after. Anytime anyone he, uh, quotes that this person is asking, oh, is it Sahih or, or, or Daif? And where this era it is mentioned in the Quran, is it mentioned in the, uh, in the Sunnah? That's what we're going after. But to get the, uh, but to get the actual uh, willpower to perform that Sunnah is Tazkiyah. That's what Tazkiyah is, is to give you the recognition and the, the philosophy behind why am I praying, why am I fasting, why am I giving zakat, and, 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 and how can I rectify, as I mentioned in the hadith, the closest to, to Rasulullah is the person who rectifies, his, uh, he rectifies and he purifies, he puts, uh, makes his uh, actions excellent in eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, any diseases that we have of, uh, of arrogance, of lying, of anger, of anything, that's what tazkiyah is to purify ourselves from there. And that's why in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the first, after, after, uh, after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, after Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam recited the Quran, next thing he did was, was purification of the heart of the Sahaba. And the purification of the heart of the Sahaba when it was done, and then the, uh, uh, and then ta'alim wa took place. Then, uh, then, then the aspect of wisdom took place. And when it came a time of uh, Abu Bakr radiallahu anh, there was the most prosperous, uh, uh, prosperous society in that, at that time because everyone was purified and everyone was benefiting from each other. And when the time of Umar bin, Khat, uh, Umar bin Khattab came, all those four, uh, four component that, uh, uh, that is mentioned in the ayat were all being practiced that to, to an extent that was being forced onto the person. If a person would do, Umar ibn Khattab was there to, uh, to correct that individual, rather be in society, rather be in the masjid, rather be in the market. He would go and, uh, and patrol around the area to rectify those people, to do, bring, them, uh, bring them into what? Into tazkiyah, to purify them. And once that purification was done, then the entire environment became one of the best eras that the, uh, uh, that, uh, that, that the humanity ever faced on this uh, on this uh, on this earth, and th that's what purification that we have to uh, uh, that we have to push ourselves to push our kids to, and uh, and, and is to recognize what are the mistakes that I am making within uh, within uh, uh, within my family, within uh, uh, within the people that I deal with. Within the excellent, how can I build the excellence of character that Rasulullah is speaking of? Because uh, 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 other, uh, the, the main ibadat are, are ghayr ikhtiyari, we have no control over. If you don't have money, you can't go for hajj. If you don't have enough money, to, you can't give zakat. You can't earn those rewards. That is not in your control. That would come uh, over time, right? If a, a person is sick, he cannot perform. He has no control over. But to... Uh, but to rectify, to have a good character, that is in our control. It's to rectify in our inner soul, that is, is in our control. For this reason, this, this workshop took place to rectify ourselves, to give that understanding what is actually Tazkiyah is, why we, need to, why we need to go after Tazkiyah. As I mentioned, that we're in the era that everything is being pushed, Quran and Sunnah, but the, but the main core, which will give you the willpower, which will give you the main recognition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when, when, uh, when there's no one around you but you're still going to pray when, there was no, when there's, there's nothing that you're isolated but you will still be aware that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there that I have to pray and you, same thing with your kids same thing with your, uh, with your children and when, when you're not around them when you're not around them to command them they would know that I, Allah is watching me they have to stand and pray in front of Him and that is what Tazkiyah is, and, that, uh, and may Allah give us the ability to, uh, to rectify ourselves and purify our heart and have the purification under a proper, uh, a proper source, proper sheikh, a proper individual. And we have this individual in front of us, and, 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 and he, he has sat with, with those who have sacrificed so much for, for the sake of deen. And if they were to sacrifice for dunya, uh, uh, I'll bet you they'll be, they'll be billionaires. But they have so much discipline, they have so much thing for what? For the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they, they, they let go of their desires. Speaking of my grandfather, Mu'an Niyaz Khutni, he left his hometown to what? Rectify himself, to elevate himself into the, uh, in, into the deen. He left his home, he left his comfort of home just to what? To, get, uh, to learn from the proper sources. Now the person could say that I could do tazkiyah of myself by myself. I know that I have arrogance in me. I could do this. 
So then those people, all those scholars that went after scholars, it, it, it's a system, just like Rasulullah Sallallahu rectified the Sahaba from the Sahaba Tabi'een, Taba Tabi'een, and went on, and, and, and that's how it is going to go, right? If you're going to go for a doctor, you look for a good doctor. You'll be like, oh, uh, I need to, uh, I'm sick, so I need to go to a doctor, and I need to go a proper doctor, right? You're not going to go in uh, uh, some random person asking for medication. Just if, because that's your health. You know this is important for me. If I take a wrong medication, take a wrong advice, that would kill me. And if, so same way it is, uh, it is upon us is to find a right individual. And once you find those right individual, is to hold on to them and, and rectify yourself, rectify your inner, uh, uh, inner understanding. And hikmah is only understood when, uh, when a sheikh is with you, when he's there to guide you. Because he has been through all those, uh, all those diseases that you are going through. He knows about all those diseases that you are going through. And hikmah does not come by itself. Wisdom does not come in by itself. It comes by over age, over, over sacrifice, over giving for sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's when it comes. So may Allah, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to rectify our, uh, rectify our deeds and purify our heart.